Today I want to talk about cell structure and function. Even though cells have been observed for over 400 years, we've only known about the complex internal structures of cells for the past 150 or so. That we can find a little bit about uh, the internal structures of cells by inserting DNA from certain glowing proteins into certain cell structures and observing what these uh, structures look like in the adult organism. That uh, we can observe a number of different uh, organelles or structures that have been tagged with green fluorescent protein, in this case taken from jellyfish. That we know, based on such studies, that cells have a number of interesting internal structures or organelles. These organelles come uh, in various shapes and sizes. The easiest ones you might be familiar with include the nucleus and the cell membrane, but there are a variety of others in eukaryotic cells, complex cells with a nucleus and many organelles, each with a different structure and function. That, due to their different internal structures, different cells have a variety of different functions in your body, that uh, different uh, organelles give these cells their different functions. The first function of cells is to make proteins, that proteins make up various structures and control every function in your cell. The second is to convert energy from one form to another, so you can use it for various functions as well as growth. The last is to make new cells by reproduction to allow you, a multicellular organism, to grow, to repair from injury, and to renew lost cells. Let's consider making proteins first. We know DNA contains instructions for making proteins at these bases, A's, T's, C's, and G's, in this double helix structure of DNA, uh, are the bases that code for proteins. In the process of protein synthesis, you take genes or instructions for making proteins, and they are converted through a two-step process into a sequence of amino acids put together to make a finished protein. That every three bases in DNA, a triplet codes for one amino acid. So by changing the sequence of bases in DNA, you can change the final product as well. There are several organelles involved in making proteins. The instructions for making proteins found in genes or DNA in the nucleus, which are then sent uh, in a copied form called mRNA to the ribosomes on uh, the rough endoplasmic reticulum of the cell. The ribosomes themselves assemble the protein from component amino acids. Then they are sent in little vesicle transporters to the Golgi apparatus, and then from there, by vesicle transport to various destinations around the cell. Let's look at this in more in detail. This is the nucleus. The instructions from the nucleus sent to the ribosomes, where the uh, amino acids are made into proteins. Then, in the same structure, the rough endoplasmic reticulum, you get folding of these proteins as well. These little transport vesicles then take this uh, semi-finished protein to the Golgi, where this protein goes through these layers, goes undergoes further modification, and then is shipped to wherever it needs to go, in the cell, in the membrane, or outside as necessary. The second function of cells, converting energy from one form to another. If we look at a complex eukaryote, such as an animal cell or a plant cell, there are a couple of organelles that are important, including this one right here, the mitochondria, and this one right here, the chloroplasts. Note that plant cells have both chloroplasts and mitochondria, whereas animal cells only have these mitochondria. Uh, the uh, reasoning here is that in the course of evolution, which is what these trees, tree diagrams show, that mitochondria were absorbed into early ancestors of our cells, uh, whereas chloroplasts were only absorbed by the ancestors of modern plants. There are a number of reactions that convert energy from one form to another in an ecosystem in various different organisms. In plants, for example, photosynthesis in the chloroplasts converts light energy into the energy of organic molecules, stored chemical energy in between carbon atoms in a sugar, for example. The second reaction is respiration. Cellular respiration in mitochondria takes these organic compounds in the foods that we eat and converts them into a usable molecule called ATP. This ATP is an energetic molecule that can be used to perform work in the cell. Plants have both chloroplasts and mitochondria. Chloroplasts to make food and uh, mitochondria to break it down to give the cell energy. We get food from our environment and break it down to create ATP, a distinction that is important for us to consider. 
The last function, main function of cell, is to make new cells that uh, through the process of cell division or mitosis as shown here, a cell copies its DNA and then divides it exactly between two daughter cells. That we can see through fluorescence microscopy the division of the DNA shown here in blue by uh, various components of the cytoskeleton. That uh, the cytoskeleton or cell skeleton is a uh, series of fibers that crisscross the cell that hold organelles in place as well as move them around during cell division so that each daughter cell gets an equal component of organelles and DNA. That here the DNA is shown in blue with red spots in the center and these green fibers are the cytoskeleton itself. What we're seeing here is all the chromosomes lined up in the middle of the cell so they can be split in half and separated to opposite sides. This is a diagram showing you the other main function of the cytoskeleton as well, of holding various organelles in place, that your cell is not just a bag of various uh, structures, it is very complex. These organelles can also be moved around during cell division by little motor proteins, dynein and kinesin shown here, which walk along the uh, cytoskeleton fibers to carry various molecules and structures around the cell. That these literally walk along these cellular highways, if you would, in order to carry giant structures like this vesicle or even DNA around the cell to where it needs to go. So in summary, you have a number of uh, functions that cells can perform, uh, making proteins, converting energy, and making new cells, that uh, they have a number of uh, internal structures called organelles, little organs that help them accomplish their function. Every cell has a different shape. Every cell has a different series of organelles, and therefore every cell has a different function in your body.